How is it going Samsung users? Mr. Android here. Welcome back to a brand new video on this channel. Today I will be showing you 5 amazing tips, tricks and hidden features that every Samsung Galaxy user needs to know. Guys, if you own any of the Samsung smartphone, no matter if it is a flagship phone or a mid-range device from Samsung, this video is going to be extremely useful for you. For that being said, make sure you guys watch this video till the very end. Also let's aim for 1500 likes on this one. So drop a like, leave a comment and let's get started. Alright guys, first let me show you one simple trick related to customization. When you apply any wallpaper, you get these options and if you want to apply the same wallpaper both on your home screen as well as the lock screen, you will select home and lock screens. Here you will find something called as sync my edits, which is enabled by default. But if you disable this option, what you can do is you can change the position of your wallpaper. For example, if I want my wallpaper a bit zoomed in on my lock screen, I can easily do it and the wallpaper will look different on my home screen. But if this option is turned on and then if you change the position, it will get applied to your home screen as well as the lock screen. So I will recommend you to turn off this setting whenever you apply a new wallpaper so you can customize and make them look different. Next up, let's talk about one hidden feature that is very useful. It is available inside your phone settings and I am sure many of you doesn't know about this amazing feature. Well, I am talking about the smart lock feature that you can find inside the lock screen. What it does is, it will keep your phone unlocked when you are connected to your Bluetooth devices. Just go inside smart lock and select trusted devices. Here you need to pair your Bluetooth devices. It can be your smartwatch or Bluetooth earbuds. Once you are done, now whenever your phone is connected to a Bluetooth device, it will stay unlocked and you just need to swipe your lock screen instead of using your fingerprint or the password again and again. I think it is extremely useful if you are connected to a Bluetooth device while using your smartphone. Well, I keep my location settings off and I'm sure most of you does the same because it saves some battery. But there are some applications that require location permissions. Let's say if I open any food delivery app, you see how the location toggle turned on and when I close it, it turns off. I have configured my phone in a way that my location settings turn on when I open certain applications and it automatically turns off when I'm not using them. So it will save some battery. Let me show you how you can do this on your phone. Just go inside Bixby routines. Click on add routines. Simply select app opened and select all the applications that require location access. Now for then condition, search location and tap on done. You can also give a name to this routine that you have just created. Now whenever you open any application that requires location access, it will turn on your location settings and once you close it, it automatically turns off. I find it very useful and it will definitely save you some battery as well. Guys, if you want me to make a separate video on some useful Bixby routines, then let me know in the comments section. I will definitely try to make one. Whenever you want to open any application in a split screen window or a pop up view, it takes a bit of time. First you need to go to the recent apps menu, click on the app icon and then select open in split screen view. Then again you need to select the other application that you want to use. Let me show you how to simplify this process so you can save a lot of your time. Just go to your settings, display and then make sure you have enabled edge panels on your device. Once you are done, now when you want to open any app in a split screen view, simply swipe right, then select and drag the application that you want to open. Similarly, you can open another application in a pop-up window like this. Once you start using this method, I am sure it will definitely improve your multitasking experience. Next is how you can put your Samsung phone in silent mode by using these physical buttons. In OnePlus devices, you get an alert slider that helps you to put your phone in silent mode instantly. I will show you how to get this similar function in your Samsung Galaxy device. All you have to do is go to your settings, accessibility, advanced features. Here you will find an option called side and volume up keys. Just make sure you have configured it to mute all sounds. Once you are done, now if you want to mute your phone, just press and hold the power button along with the volume up key. You can also unmute it by doing the same process. So that's pretty much it guys. These are some amazing tips, tricks and hidden features. You don't have to install any third party application from the play store. You can find all these awesome features within your phone settings. So if you guys like this video then be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I am Mr. Android and I will see you guys in the next one.